Chapman firing back though. Gary making his man miss. You hear Chris Fields in the corner of Team Oh, oh it's a huge kick! And it's oh, over! Beautiful finish. Unbelievable! Ian Gary knocks out Roster McMahon in the second round. Oh my goodness. UFC! That was pretty spectacular. I mean, he tied us one twos there. Oh, oh. Shig in the hands to work early. Drops his man with a beautiful straight right. Oh, he's looking to enter a knee bar from the, the inverted position here, though. He's going to go after the legs. I think it was the third time that he threw the combination. He caught him with the right. Again, trying to land that big right hand is Gary. And throw a knee. I love the fundamentals there and keeping the range. Uh, referee Mark Goddard just wanting a little bit of intelligent defense from Sheehan here. Sheehan calls his man on. Once he looks to get his own hands to work, nice lead left from yeah. Sheehan. He wants to get Gary stuck into, firing back. He wants to get stuck into a scrap here. I don't think Ian Gary needs to take too many chances, though. He's got the upper hand of the striking so far. Sheehan caught his man with another left hook there. Gets the takedown, and we've got a fight in our hands, Josh. Oh, good sportsmanship there from Ian Gary. The mouthpiece of Sheehan coming out. Gary stepping off. Oh, rips the left hand to the body, does Gary. And again, punching the gum shield out of Sheehan's mouth. Yeah. Mark Goddard looking for a break in the action here. Again, I think he can freely go to the body a little bit more. Nice. Deep kick and a question mark kick up the right hand side. We can just Gary really mixing it up now, Josh. Yeah, he's in a rhythm. He's just kind of hitting a bit of his own. Sheehan. Oh, that. Just cleared completely. Oh, beautiful jiu jitsu from Sheehan there. And the final little, few seconds of the round. He's a little bit lucky from Sheehan. He went for the uh, went for the rolling knee bar and missed, but put him in a good position for the reversal. Go. Ian Gary! And he's shooting a long way out. And Gary's going to stop that with ease. And you hear the corner there of Ian Gary saying, step back, make him stand up. And we've seen the stall set out here from the Italian. He's looking for those leg locks. Beautiful kick down from Ian Gary. Punishing the legs now, Teglia. Yeah, he's seen that a couple of times now that it's going to be a, a useful target zone for him. I wouldn't expect uh, not going to go for it again. Teglia again just barging forward, trying to get over the top. And now we're seeing Gary backing his man up here. Nice turn there from the first round where it was the Italian on the front foot in some of the striking games. Big kick again for me and Gary. Up. I don't know if we're going to see Gary, how many chances we're going to see him take. You know, his, his Kedro's debut was... Oh, big shot for me and Gary! Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, no, You called up! You called up! No, 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 no. Uh, I think it was the eye rather than the concussive ball. No, I was hitting him with those low calf kicks. I knew that last one hurt him. I could see in his eyes. So I said, let's fake the loan, go high and well, round the chin, and that's just full of adrenaline. I just want to say, I love this form. Whatever happens, we're going to bring this back to the top and show everyone respect and honour us in this game. Well, and the crowd roaring with every punch that Ian Gary lands. Nice They're not fighting these shots, but the momentum shifting Gary's way here. Gary relentless from the back here, trying to find a way under the jaw of Figlak. I mean, Figlak's in a lot of trouble. He's got to get a hand up to defend that neck. Looking to get a grip here. Oh, he's under the jaw. Here's Gary with a big squeeze. Surely here, Figlak fighting for everything he's worth. He's out. Manus bloodied up and Gary perhaps smelling blood. He's got to be careful though. As Manus fires back. Oh, head kick off the jab. Body shots from Gary. George McManus like a tank in there. The referee's taking a good look at this one now. Down Mother Heady. Keeping close eyes on McManus. And oh, another big head kick. And it's over. And he's got Simo. Unbelievable.
three minutes and 17 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, the future. Ian Gary! Oh, Gary letting loose with the combinations now. Going to the body and again, looking for that takedown. Gets it at the second time of asking. Yeah, that was much nicer. He, he mixed up the takedown with a really nice combination of strikes there. You hear Chris Fields there saying big shots. I want to hear them. Nice transition to the bat position here. One hook in. He's got the right hook in here. Again, going with those open palm strikes. Nice elbow shot there. Now this is Tracy. This is the Tracy rather. This is the position that Ian Gary wants. He's in now from here. This is the position where you can land the most effective strikes. Big elbows from Ian Gary. A statement made by the future. But very, very accurate with his striking as well. Good counter striking. But tries to force his opponent to make the first move so he can hit them. Oh, that was a powerful low kick. Two nice jabs from Ian Gary. Batman firing back though. Gary making his man miss. You hear Chris Fields in the corner of Team Oh, oh it's a huge kick! And it's a beautiful finish! Unbelievable! Ian Gary knocks out Roster McMahon in the second round! Oh my goodness! USC! That was pretty spectacular. I've been saying this since day one, since I joined this promotion, since I fought here in my pro debut, I've been saying I'm going to be the champ, I'm going to the UFC, and I'm going to leave a legacy. Hey Jackie, you understand what I expect. Keep yourself protected, listen to me at all times. If I say stop, stop. If you want to touch now's the time. God bless you. So as we've seen from previous opponents of Travis, that's not always the easiest task to accomplish. The other thing you have to consider is, you know, Jack Grant's put in a solid training camp, he's been living in the gym, but he also knows what his opponent's been dealing with in his preparation. There's the head kick. Now, he mentioned this to me at the hotel. In fact, he will have to put in his best career performance if he's going to get Jack Grant out of there tonight. But from everything we've seen so far from this young man, the future is his nickname, but the future may very well be in his hands. Nice ground and pound from Ian Gary at the end of the first round. Oh, big shots from the future. Into a school position, throwing on her. This is a, this Bravo, nice. he's locked it off. He does have those long arms at 6'3". The fact that he's looking to do something with his leg means that he thinks that he has that on. So, you know, could you imagine him finishing Jack Grant with a submission we're used to seeing him from? But I'll tell you what, this is very, very tight. He's sitting backwards in this position. This is extremely tight here. This is a bad spot for Jack Grant. And he's controlled. Grant fighting the submission here. He's controlling the leg here. He's stopping Jack Grant from being able to move away. The question is, how tight is that on the neck? It's very hard to know. Oh, very, very close. Very impressive setup there. But Jack Grant, very cool under that pressure. He's going to bolster the confidence of Jack Grant, but he's got to do something technical behind it to make it worth something. Big overhand right there from Jack Grant with the shoulder. And there's a crisp shot from Ian Gary. Landed a couple of decent shots in this round, but the output's going to get a little better from Jack Graham. Nice teeth to the midsection from Gary there. You've got to think that there's no way Ian Gary thought that Jack Graham would be coming in with this game plan. The big one-two from Gary landed there. It seemed to stop Grant in his tracks momentarily, but they're straight back to it. Well, that's fine, man. I've been fighting. I haven't been fucking touched. <laughs> Yeah, they right next to a mic because we can hear him <laughs> perfectly. Oh, oh, apologies for the language there. Why, bro? Why? I can still do it. I know you're trying But look, this is what this is what's going to take for Jack you. Grant to get back in this fight, right? He's going to be able to stand in for a minute to steal this fight from Ian Gary. Oh, that was a good knee. A flying Cut knee in. for a minute to steal this fight from Ian Gary. Oh, that was a good knee. A flying Cut knee. Ian Gary. Must Ian Gary open? Or will Ian Gary fulfill his destiny? It's a big slam from Gary. Oh, and a big shot from Gary. And this is where Ian Gary loves to be. He loves ground and pound from this position. He forces the opponent's hips backwards. You see this awkward angle in the hips here? If uh, Jack Grant tries to push him away from here, the legs go up, not forward. And this is where he likes to strike from. Although at this point, I think he knows it's a done deal and he's happy to call it at that. And the new Cage Warriors welterweight world champion in the red corner, the 
Future.